Tech Chi. Today, we're going to talk about some of the traditional symbols that Zapotecs uh, weave on their rugs. One of these symbols is the so-called life cycle symbol. So, it's the pattern known as the Greca. It can be found at the Mitla ruins, like 30 minutes from the uh, from Oaxaca city. So, if you can see here, the first step, it represents when the baby borns, when the Zapotec born. So, in the past, they used to name their uh, kids according to the date in which they born. So, um, we have two calendars, the lunar and the solar calendar. An example of a name could be three deer, five rain. So, uh, the second step represents when a Zapotec, uh, it's uh, children, and uh, they, they used to take uh, children to these places known as, uh, like, places of power, or, no, they're just ceremonials, uh, they're just archaeological sites, but in the past, they played an important role in the Zapotec culture. So, it's believed that parents would take their kids, their children, to Mitla or Monte Alban or any other archaeological site to visit a shaman where he can tell the future of this kid. And shamans are known for having the ability of knowing which talents a person has. <clears throat> so. The third step, it's when you are a young man. So if you can see, the, the steps are going up, getting narrower. At the very top is when you are a mature Zapotec. That's, that's supposed to be when you get married. And in the past, it used to be around 30 years old. Now it has changed. Like, a lot of my friends are, are already married. So... You know, you make a family, you have make a life, make a living. So they they also discover that when when you have kids, you give them the best of your energy. That's why the line goes down. So then you get old and eventually you die at the corner. Maybe that's why they say death is just around the corner. This is a phrase in Spanish. So this part is life in the other world. So, then you come back and you're born again. So it's something like reincarnation. And then you start all over again. Born and make a living. So that's why it's called the life cycle symbol. <clears throat> also, if you notice, there are uh, like two symbols. Another is upside down. So, what I can tell is that one represents your physical body, and the other represents your spiritual body, per se. Uh, you can, we call it like the physical, tonal, and the spiritual, or dreaming body, or soul, uh, we call it nahual. So, tonal is everything that the mind understands, everything that you can say with words. Nahual is just the opposite. So... <clears throat> In each life cycle, we have the purpose of, well, we as humans, we are the beings that create and generate more consciousness. I mean, plants and animals do also. But we as humans, we create more. So it's our responsibility to maintain the order of the universe. That's So, in each life cycle, we have to create more and more consciousness. But also, we as a person, we have a specific purpose, a specific mission in life. So, when you discover that purpose, that mission, they say you become a warrior. It's, it's, a, it's a philosophy of life. So, this is like the very first, uh, the very first level of a life cycle. You know, it's very basic. You just grow and uh, get married, have kids, and create consciousness. But then uh, the shamans, they, 
They train Zapotecs how to become warriors. One of the first things they teach us is that a warrior is a person who becomes aware of his death. So he no longer wastes time or life in vague actions. Then we have another life cycle symbol for the warrior. I solved the last rug with the warrior's life cycle symbol, so I printed this um, image. You can see here. <clears throat> so it also has uh, steps, like the common person life cycle symbol. But these steps no longer represent stages of life, but stages of consciousness, higher levels and different lessons that you have to pass, different things that you have to achieve in order to become a warrior. Um, so all these steps are going up and then they reach a plateau. So that's when, um, that's when the warriors, they, they take the responsibility of teaching other people or common persons how to become warriors. Um, also, there are different things that warriors learn. Like, first, uh, they have the hunting ritual. So, they teach us that we, we all have routines, like a prey. So, we're in a constant battle against death. So, we need to save a lot of energy in order to, to fight that war. That's like an also that can be interpreted as an internal war because in order to create more consciousness we need to have a battle in within to fight against all the bad actions all the actions that just waste our energy like getting angry getting sad or just um you know envy all the bad things and a warrior he he also use, learn how to use plants and uh, how to use like, um, mushrooms or whatever. <clears throat> so, a warrior needs to break all of his routines, which not only means uh, not having like a regular routine, but looking at the world differently every day, looking at the world different. That's what a warrior does in order to create more consciousness. Um, what else? When the warrior um, had reached the plateau, and he he also gets old, or if he doesn't become a shaman, he will get old and die as a normal person. And then he goes to the other world, but in the other world, he goes up to a higher level and he lives with the gods for a little bit of time. That's like a gift for his life, being a warrior. And then he comes back and st 